how to operate the Chromebook, powering on the device and connecting to the network. Power on the device by opening the Chromebook or pressing the power button on the right side of the device. To connect to the network, navigate down to the system tray and in the lower right hand corner, click on the network icon. Select the network you would like to connect to, click the word connect, you are now connected to the network. The power button is on the top right corner of the device keyboard. Press the back key to go back one page, or to refresh your page, press the refresh key. Between the tab and shift keys on the left side of the keyboard, where the caps lock usually resides, you may have either the launcher key or the search key depending on your system. The former launches the Chrome operating system app drawer, the latter brings up a search box. Instead of the usual numbered function keys, Google has substituted a row of various dedicated keys. From left to right, they are Escape. This is the usual get out of trouble key. Next are the back and refresh buttons, which we previously discussed. Next is the full page button, which allows you to toggle the current page to take up the full screen. The show windows button shows all the open windows on the screen. If you have more than one virtual desktop, it will be shown on the top of the screen. The next button is Brightness Down, followed by Brightness Up. Play Pause is next, followed by Mute, Lower Volume, and Raise Volume. Power, if you have a Pixel Go, or Open the Status Area if you have a Pixelbook 2017, is the last button on the right. First-time users will receive a Chromebook from their assigned school. To log in, enter your school assigned email address and then enter your student ID in the password box, then click Next or Sign In. Returning users will enter their school assigned email address and student password, then click Enter. Your password can be reset by contacting your school media specialist. Your Chromebook uses your photo to identify you as the rightful user. Account usernames and pictures are shown by default for the Google accounts listed on the main sign-in screen. When you sign in to an account for the first time on your Chromebook, you'll be prompted to choose a picture to represent your account. You can take a picture using the webcam, upload a file, or choose from a range of colorful pictures offered as defaults. Remember, the purpose of your profile picture is to identify to whom the Chromebook belongs. Your profile picture must depict your face and only your face, no hats, sunglasses, or masks, etc. In the bottom right of the screen, click into the status box where the time is shown, then select Settings. In the Personalization section, select Change Device Account Image. To take a picture with your Chromebook's webcam and use it for your account picture, click the camera icon. When the live image from your webcam appears, smile into the camera and click the green camera button. If you like the picture that results, click the OK button. If you don't like what you see, click the trash icon and take another picture. You may also take a short video with the camera. After you select camera, select video camera and start recording. You may also choose to upload a photo from your own files. The authentication process. Once the authentication required box appears, enter the same username and password that was used to log into the computer. Your student username is the same as your school district username and password. You have now successfully completed the login process. If you have any issues with your device, Edgenuity, its learning, logging in, your lessons, or schedule, you will find a form to fill out for assistance on the district website. We look forward to working with you virtually.